for all the guests that are here with us this evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our incredible company and to all the brand ambassadors that have joined us this evening. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you do every day to share the message of Canaway and hemp and how we're changing the world. So let's get into this presentation. So first of all, we want to talk about the differences between hemp and marijuana. Hemp is all the difference. It's all about the health, not the high. You see on here at the left, this is hemp. It grows tall and lengthy, about 20 feet high. There's a high concentration of CBD, the non-psychoactive cannabinoid, very low levels of THC. Around the world, hemp is grown mostly for textiles and fiber, building materials. Um, and of course, of course, the hemp seeds are the seed from the plant known as cannabis sativa. On the other hand, we have marijuana, our sister plant, and it's grown short and bushy, about waist high. It's grown for high concentration of THC, the psychotropic compound, and it's grown for that psychoactive effect. And there's really, really no industrial application for the plant. So we have cannabis is the umbrella or is the forest, and we have different trees in the forest. And so today we're all, in this presentation is all going to be about hemp. And of course, with all the great news that have come out uh, recently with the Farm Bill of 2018 passing. It's been a very exciting day. One, myself and my colleagues that have been in this industry moving it forward for the last over you know, three plus years in Canaway and certainly since the mid 2000s with our parent company. We are truly excited and we're so thrilled that you're with us. Here's a short video. The existence of hemp can be found throughout recorded history. Food, medicine, elixir, textile, hemp is thought by some to be the first crop domesticated by our ancestors. In ancient India, it was blended with milk and spices into a drink believed to aid digestion, relieve fever, and ease dysentery. Some thought it made the body more alert, calling it the nectar of the gods. Beginning in the mid-1800s, hemp oil was a natural part of the American pharmacopoeia, prescribed for everything from cramps to chronic seizures. After the 1930s, taxes made hemp too expensive to grow and farmers mostly abandoned the crop. Hemp became more scarce. Cannabinoids all but disappeared from the food chain and Americans became deficient in cannabinoids. Cannabidiol is a naturally occurring chemical compound found in plants like echinacea, flax, and of course hemp. In this form, it's referred to as a phytocannabinoid. But plants aren't the only source. Cannabinoids also exist in the human body and can even be found in breast milk. Some researchers contend they play a critical role in early childhood development. Regardless of the source, cannabinoids work in conjunction with the body's endocannabinoid system, also known as the ECS. The ECS is a network of cannabinoid receptors found in the mammalian brain and abdominal organs. This system plays a key role in regulating many natural functions including mood, sleep, and appetite. Present from even the earliest stages of fetal development, the ECS predominantly consists of endocannabinoid receptors located in both the central and peripheral nervous systems. CB1 receptors in the central nervous system combine with the brain's nerve cells to help regulate the body's biochemistry. Both endocannabinoids and phytocannabinoids bind to these receptor points to control the passage of proteins between cells. CB2 receptors in the peripheral nervous system are mostly found on white blood cells, in the tonsils, and in the spleen. Cannabinoids that bind to these sites help modulate the immune system response to disease and injury. Research has shown that cannabidiol has the potential to reduce inflammation and protect critical cells against oxidation. However, with a lack of cannabidiol in the food supply and the tendency for endogenous cannabinoids to degrade within the human body, most people are deficient in these important compounds. This absence of cannabinoids has led researchers to establish a condition known as clinical endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome. A diet rich in phytocannabinoids, such as high concentration hemp oils and hemp seeds, may offset this deficiency. The discovery of cannabinoids and the endocannabinoid system has forced the scientific community to rethink 
how many of our most debilitating diseases function and how to treat them. As it turns out, so many of us are deficient in this fundamental substance that plays a key role in keeping our bodies balanced and healthy. These receptors are an intrinsic part of who we are, leading us to ask, are we starved of cannabinoids? Now that is Dr. Stuart Titus. He is the chairman of our parent company, Medical Marijuana Inc., and one of the world's most foremost experts in the endocannabinoid system and in hemp and CBD. And he travels the world over educating others, and we're thrilled to have him as our CEO. Well, this is a picture of the endogenous cannabinoid system. It's a body self-regulatory system, as that video shared with you. Um, it ba balances mood, sleep, appetite, and hormone production, and it influences homeostasis. So basically balancing all bodily functions. And we know that when we give the body what it needs, the body can respond. Um, you see the receptor points that we have throughout our bodies. And our bodies are actually calibrated with plant-based hemp products. And that is extremely exciting. Dr. David Allen, he's a retired cardiac surgeon and he's a member of the International Cannabis Research Society. He basically stated that the endogenous, the discovery of this endocannabinoid system is the single most important medical scientific discovery ever and will save more lives than the discovery and application of sterile surgical technique. This is exciting, folks, to have a, 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 a surgeon actually speaking this way. So I encourage you to look him up and um, listen to other things that he has to say. So let's talk about the company that's bringing this all um, to the masses and a company that you can very, be very proud to represent. Canaway is built on these four pillars. We are family oriented and we know there's nothing more important than family. Everyone from infants to seniors and everyone in between, including our furry friends, can utilize our technologies and products here with Canaway. We are sustainable. Hemp solves many problems and will continue to do so in a greater way than ever. Now with the passing of this farm bill, you see a, a a picture of a hemp home in North Carolina built all with hemp. And you see Dr. Titus here in our one of our farms in Northern Europe, where we grow at this point, um, non-GMO. And we're just so thrilled to have such a quality um, product bringing hemp back to the masses. We're also natural and botanical, and only the best ingredients will do um, here at Canaway. It is extremely important that what uh, how your product is grown, where it's grown, how the product is extracted, and the quality and quantity of CBD is extremely important. And of course, we're driven by science. Here's a picture of Dr. Titus along uh, with um, Penny Howard and um, doctors from the Salk Institute that are leading the way when it comes to innovation and research. So we are a subsidiary of Medical Marijuana Inc., the first publicly held cannabis company in the United States. And again, a company first leading the way. We were the first direct sales company in the cannabis space, which is so exciting. It gives people like you and me an opportunity to be an entrepreneur in this industry that's just exploding. We are the first to establish the first ever global CBD pipeline, another company of firsts. We were the first company ever to establish um, quality standards through triple lab testing. You see, there wasn't any um, testing procedures that was the norm at all. It was like the wild, wild west. People could just make a product, put it out there, and there were no lab analysis reports, no testing of any kind. So our company created that standard. We were the first also company ever to present CBD to the World Health Organization. Um, again, leading the way with expertise, lobbying that CBD must be available to everyone, regardless of what happens with pharmaceutical companies getting into this space. And of course, the World Health Organization rendered their opinion that yes, CBD a must remain a supplement. It is safe for people to use. And that is exciting. Again, we are the first international CBD brand. You see here in Mexico and Brazil and Paraguay, they utilize our products that we have access to every day as a supplement. It is considered a medication over there. So again, we're leading the way internationally with products that are changing lives all over the world. 
Now, all this kind of stems from back in 2003, a patent was awarded to a team headed by Nobel Prize winning laureate, Dr. Julius Axelrod. It is the, known as the 507 patent and establishes that cannabinoids are useful in the treatment of a wide range of oxidative related conditions, such as age-related, inflammatory, and autoimmune diseases, and in the treatment and prevention of neurological diseases, such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, which many of you um, know as concussion trauma that many of our athletes um, suffer with. And so again, we are the first with this license um, to hold the license that was issued through the National Institutes of Health, again, leading the way. And again, here's a picture of one of our colleagues brought a team of people um, to our parent company, to our headquarters in San Diego. And this just shows our international expansion because uh, we just celebrated our one year anniversary, um, expanding our reach into all of Europe and other parts to come. So very exciting. We've been making headlines every single day. We've been in the news. Again, everyone is interested in Canaway and what we have to say, Fortune, Forbes, um, Yahoo, NBC, Fox, CBS. We were featured on the History Channel as the innovator of the CBD market. That is exciting. Here's a short video. When Medical Marijuana Inc. became the first publicly traded cannabis company, we challenged ourselves to become the world's premier phytocannabinoid provider. We innovated an online marketplace and direct sales program that cannot be matched. Our success as a company derives from our purpose to help people live better and create a more sustainable world. We sought out the most qualified farmers on the planet and developed the ideal cultivars for large-scale hemp production. In doing so, we were the first to develop a cannabidiol-based product line. We were also the first to standardize the concentration of cannabidiol in each of our products, simply because it had never been done before. In the beginning, there were no guidelines to ensure a product's quality, so we developed a multi-tier lab testing procedure because it was the right thing to do for our customers. In those early days, the technology to produce cannabidiol on the scale we envisioned simply did not exist. So we invented it, becoming the first company to create an integrated CBD pipeline in the process. We developed the largest, most reliable source of phytocannabinoid products for the United States and dozens of countries around the world. We have also led the way in research. We were the first to obtain a license from the National Institutes of Health to develop cannabinoids as a drug treatment for degenerative brain diseases like CTE. This research opens the door to therapies for several other neurological disorders. You can see the impact of this movement all across the globe. In Paraguay and Puerto Rico, ours were the first phytocannabinoid-based products to be licensed as medically approved treatments. In Brazil, one little girl's need for cannabidiol created the first ever government subsidies for a phytocannabinoid product. Now, our hemp oil is being prescribed in Brazil for epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, as well as for chronic pain and other conditions. In Mexico, the law was actually rewritten to allow the use of cannabidiol to treat a young autistic girl's seizures. To meet Mexico's strict regulation, we created the first completely THC-free hemp oil product on the market. From clean biofuels to building materials, hemp's possibilities are limitless. With it, we can change the status quo. We're proud of the things we've accomplished and the lives that we've touched. While many follow in our footsteps, we continue to forge a new path to health and wellness.